Blog Talk Radio. Welcome to Spiritual Guidance Radio. I'm your host, Katherine Hahn, and I hope everyone had a wonderful week this week as we get ready to move on to um, next week. Um, we this this week has um, been an interesting week. So if you'd like to share what it is that has gone on with you, what it is that has been on your heart or would like some guidance, please be sure to give me a call at 714-816-4628. And don't forget to press 1 on that keypad to be live on air with me. All right. So before we go ahead and talk about the energy that is coming in this week, um, let's go ahead and do this meditation to help cleanse from this week, um, from other people's energies, from um, just everything that's gone on this week that's not who it is that you are, that's not aligned to you. Um, So if you are able to, I want to encourage you to sit comfortably, uh, wherever that may be. You can even lay down if that helps as well. And we're going to close our eyes and take a few deep breaths. And as we do this breathing, we're going to then place our hands on our heart. And as we are in our heart space, we're going to transform this heart space into one that helps you to be still, to help you to feel that peace. So all of those different things in nature that really resonate with you whether it be plants or animals, um, a sunset, mountains, um, any bodies of water, all those different things in nature that really resonates with you, that really helps you to feel at peace. So you can place those in your heart space. And as we keep breathing in it, in through our nose, out through our mouth, we're going to then in our heart space place an open door where we're going to invite our angels and guides as well as the archangels to step forward for us to be in our space. So we have archangels Uriel, we have archangel Raziel, we have archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Zachiel, Archangel Jophiel, and Archangel Shamiel. So they are going to be in the space with us to send us their energy of love and light. And as they send us this energy, they're going to help expand our heart chakra and then to help expand our third eye chakra, and then our crown chakra. And as these chakras expand, we're going to have source energy come through our crown chakra to go through each and every one of the centers of our chakras to cleanse and to renew so that we can be ready for the messages that are meant for us today and throughout the weekend and through next week. So as this Source energy goes through each and every one of our chakras from our crown chakra all the way down to our roots. It's going to help then expand each and every 
each one of our chakras, that light that's within is going to expand throughout our body, and then it's going to expand outside of our bodies and in the space that we're in. And as this energy expands outside of our body and swirls around, just like a tornado, where we we are in the eye of that tornado, as it spins around us, it's going to then help draw out all of the old energy that we no longer need, all of those stresses, all of those things that you've worried, worried about this week, all of those things that are within that does not belong there anymore. And it's going to then ex- be drawn out into this energy that is swirling around us. And as it does, then it's going to then be taken up into this cloud of energy up above us. And it's going to then transform and transmute this old energy to this new, bright, love and light energy that is going to come back down like it's raining. And it's going to then fill the spaces where the old energy was. So as it is filled within your energy, just take a few deep breaths in through your nose, then out through your mouth. And as this energy keeps circling around us, the archangels are going to then help ground your energy, so from your root chakra all the way down to the center of the earth, there's going to be this bright white light that goes all the way down. And then from the center of the earth, there's going to be this bright green and blue and white light that comes all the way up and through your feet, going all the way up your body. And it's going to fill each and every cell of your body, going all the way up to your crown. And as it goes through your crown, it's going to then flow out like a fountain of water. It's going to then reach the ground, and from the ground, it's going to spread out that energy that's yours as well as from the divine, from the archangels. All of that energy is going to then be spread out to all of those who are around you, who you're connected with, as well as those you are going to be connected with. And who are needing your energy. So we're going to take a few deep breaths into your nose, out through your mouth. Now when you are ready, you can bring back awareness into your body. And then you can open up your eyes. And welcome back. So yeah, that is a meditation that you can do over and over again as needed. You know, if you are needing to feel at peace, if you need to feel calm, if you are needing to just get rid of all of those things, all of the old energy, all of the stuck energy, um, anyone else's energy, if you need, are needing to release that, that is a meditation you can do. Um, over and over again to help you um, through the weeks. So I hope everyone had a wonderful week. Um, And, you know, like I had mentioned earlier, it has been an interesting week. Um, For some of us, it may have gone by fairly quickly. For some of us, it may have, you know, dragged down a little bit um, because of the things that are going on. and that is part of that energy that's coming that was coming in a lot of different energies um so you know that this meditation will you know really help to 
um, cleanse and to help you to really focus um, on what it is that's meant for you when it comes to those messages. So this coming week, we're going to talk a little bit about what it is that we should be expecting this coming week. And this coming week's energy, we have Archangel Raziel, um, and we have Archangel Uriel and Archangel um, Shamuel stepping forward for us for this week's energy. And it has a lot to do with transformation. So, yes, we're always growing. We're always transforming. We're always um, learning a lot of things. But this coming week, there's going to be a lot more transformations in regards to our authentic selves. So, are you aligned to who it is that you truly are? Are you feeling, you know, in that, are you feeling comfortable in your own body? Are you feeling as if everything is working the way that it should? It, it, do you feel that alignment? And if not, what is it that you need to do in order to feel that alignment? So, you know, when it comes to speaking with others, when it comes to looking at um, your jobs and your careers, it's going to be important for you to ask yourself, is this, is this in alignment to who it is I truly am? Am I feeling comfortable and at ease to what it is that I'm I'm doing not just comfort because you know it and it's it's it comes easy to you but is it something that truly makes you happy is it something that is it the life that you truly want and if there's an even an inkling of that maybe or not sure it's going to be important for you to look at that. Where is it in my life that I can truly be more in alignment to who it is that I truly am? You know, the divine has created each and every one of us to come here to do those things that are meant for us. But also, um, you know, we all have that purpose um, in life, those things that we are meant to do. And it has a, a part of that has to do with your dreams. What is it that you truly dream about? How is it that you want to see your life unfold for you? What is it that you want to see in your life when it comes to career, when it comes to relationships, um, you know, all areas of your life? So what does that look like for you? And it's going to be so important for you to be truly honest with yourself this coming week, because what you're going to, what we're going to see, um, not just in your life, um, and you know, and with the people around us, but globally, what we're going to see is a lot of honest things coming out. So if there have been some dishonesty, there's going to be authentic truths coming out this week. And, you know, we have been seeing that throughout this year um, more and more, especially after, you know, the pandemic and after everything that we've gone through in society. But there's going to be a lot more when it comes to truths coming out. So if you are not being authentic, if you're not being honest with yourself and with others about who it is that you truly are, it is going to come out. So it's going to be important for us to really look within ourselves this week and to really share what it is that we truly want and who it is that we truly are to ourselves and then to others, to really have that then come out um, to others. So, you know, letting go of the masks, if you, if you know, you've had that mask on because of, you know, certain lim lim uh, limiting beliefs when it comes to um, you know, wanting to please others. And so it's going to be important to look at that and say, uh, how is it that I need to be more authentic to who it is that I am with others and to yourself, to myself. And when we look at that, when we do that work, 
that is when we really see what it is that we're meant to do, what it is our purpose is, and you know, and how it is that we are meant to live that life of joy and happiness. So we have Archangel Jophiel stepping forward because she's helping us you know, to find that joy and that happiness that we're meant to live. And we have Archangel Uriel to help us with our power. You know, when we are authentic to who it is that we are, we exude our power um, to ourselves and to others. So how is it that we are meant to be truly aligned to who it is that we are? And it's about, you know, that life of alignment. You know, if we want to be aligned to who it is that we are, it has to match with when it comes to our careers. It has to match when it comes to our relationships. And so, how is it that you need to realign when it comes to relationships, when it comes to career and business and work um, and our personal lives? So how is that all needing to be aligned so that it is who it is that we truly are and how we're meant to live? So that is the energy that's coming in this coming week and you know I, I talked about transformation so when we are affected to ourselves that is when that transformation happens that is when we are able to live that life that we are truly meant to live so what does that look like for you so if you know if you're a little bit you know, still not quite sure what that looks like for you, um, you know, you can give me a call at 714-816-4628. And don't forget to press 1 on that keypad. Um, but also you can, you know, if you're listening to me after the fact, um, you can go to facebook.com slash spiritual guidance radio, um, and you can message me there if you have any questions or if you're needing um, a little bit of guidance um, or needing some help with um, journaling, um, please be sure to message me there and I will get back to you um, and help you um, to really be able to see what it is that you're really needing to see. So we're going to go ahead and take a few calls. And um, like I mentioned, if you are needing some guidance or if you'd like to share what it is so that you've gone through this week, um, if you are just needing um, to talk and share what it is that uh, has been on your heart, uh, please be sure to give me a call as well. So let's go ahead and take our first caller here. We have area code 806. Hello, caller. What is your name and where are you calling from? I'm sorry. Did you sign my number? I don't 806? See. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. This is my first time to call. So oh, I'm not no sure problem. how this goes. <laughs> so what uh, is Mary your name? And a melody. 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 Did you hear? Yeah. Um, oh, and where are you calling? Amarillo. Where are you calling from? Oh, hi. Oh, wonderful. I think there's a little bit of a delay somehow on the phone. Oh, yes. Um, <laughs> okay, so uh, what would, did you have a, a specific question for me? Yes. Um, I had um, a dog that died last month on the full moon. Her name was Zinger. And it was, it was difficult because I'd had her. I think she was about 16 years old and I've still struggled ever since, and I just wondered if um, you could see any signs from her, or if you're picking up anything. Do they stay with us? Do they go on? Um, they, she, you're, you're, she is with you, okay? Know that it doesn't have to be humans. Our our pets, and you know, when it comes to our pets, it's it's, it's amazing um, just how they were created, and you know, they're created to love, and you know, I can feel and hear just that love that you had, um, 
for uh, was it Zinger you said? Yeah, Z I N G E R. She was the black and white yeah. um, female husky. Yeah, and know that you know she's there with you. She's always there. Now, when it comes to signs, you can always ask for those signs. So it's not just, you know, humans that, we, you know, if they pass on that um, we can ask for signs for, but even for our, our pets that pass on, you know, they, you know, they have, they spoke to you while they were here. They can speak to you even from beyond. So, you know, don't be afraid to ask for those signs. You know, whenever you're feeling down or if you're, when you're feeling sad, to know that they are there. And so, you know, if you ask for that sign, you know, that sign will be there. Now, if you ask for the sign and you don't see it, there's, it's not because they didn't hear it, but to know that those signs come in in ways that may be a little bit more abstract. So it may not, not be directly uh, what it is that you asked for, but in a symbol that is related to what it is that you're asking. Does that make sense? Yeah, I just haven't been able to pick up anything and um, from her, and I didn't. I just didn't know if she was in a lot of pain and suffering when she died or she was ready. She didn't seem like she was ready, but I had to make that decision for her, and I've just struggled with it um, ever since. Know that, know that it was your intuition to know to let her go because she was ready to go. Does that make sense? So your your gut was right to let her go because she needed to go. Okay? Right. All right. Well, and I don't, also, I don't you know if you know much about Go ahead. And also, you know, when it comes to, um, you know, you said that you asked for signs, but you you, you haven't really – you know, seeing them, whenever you look at things or whenever you see things and your mind automatically goes to her, know that that's a sign as well, okay? okay. Th that's your okay. intuition playing in, okay? So anytime there has been something that you've seen, whether it was something that was hers um, or something that you've done together and you think of her, know that it's because there's a reason for that. So really trust in your intuition when it comes to that, those things. You know, our intuition is never wrong. It's always right. So it's important for you to really trust in that, okay? Sorry. Um, I just didn't know if she needed anything else from me now. Well, she wants you to share more of her. So if you'd like to share with us, more about who she was and what it is that you um, did with her. And also, how how is it that you came to find her? Well, she I, actually, she was at the pound, and I saw her. I had a husky that um, I was trying to find a mate for, and I saw her at the or one of the doctors at the pound, but they gave her to somebody else. And um, the lady decided she didn't like her with her other dogs, so she called me and said, do you want her? And I said, yes. And well, I had her in my home 15 years, four months, and three days. So she was old enough to be stayed, so I think she was over 16 years old. And uh, for a long time, she was my traveling buddy, and um, she was just a beautiful husky. I mean, um, very, you know, huskies are very determined and very smart and very proud and and I had two other male dogs I brought in that were rescues and you know she was always head of the house and you know one didn't know that she was the boss <laughs> she was the boss um, so I tried to honor her and tell her she would always be the queen and um to the end and it, it yeah I just gave so much there's so much caretaking toward the end that it almost took me out with her so um because I was up a lot at night but um, you know, when you do caretaking and, and it ends, it's like falling off a cliff and there's just a big vacuum. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so amazing. I, I love the story of how you met her and, um, you know, just how how important she is to you even now. And, and I let had, me ask and you. And I had her. 
Go ahead. Uh-huh. No, 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 go ahead. I was just going to I was just going to say, I never could figure out where I was going to bury her. I had the other husky buried, and people kept giving me, you know, trouble. And so finally, in the end, I found out I could get her cremated. And so I had her cremated, and I have her ashes here in front of me in a bag with her collar around it. So. Oh, wonderful. Well, you know, just just know that she's always there. Also, you know, while you're talking, um, I had Archangel Raphael and Archangel Gabriel step forward for you. And um, are you someone who has been thinking about writing? Well, I've always been a good writer, but I never really um, tried to make any money at it. Mm-hmm. I was actually... Well, I mean, yeah, go ahead. You know, I've done, I've done writing for other people, kind of proofreading, and actually worked for the... Worked for the Texas Legislature, Legislative Council at one time, was a proofreader, but I've always been a good writer. I just um, never really knew how to channel that. Mm-hmm. Now, right now, what I'm hearing is, you know, with your dog passing, and and it seems you have a lot of different ideas. When it comes to what to write, don't be afraid to start writing. You know, it can start from writing about your dog, you know, and then other things that you've gone through in your life. Because what I'm seeing is you have a lot of things that you've gone through. You, you've, you've done a lot, but also you, you've been through a lot of pain. Is is that does it make sense? Yeah, I've had I've, I've had near fatal accidents. And, you know, it's important for you to write those. Because what I'm seeing is that you're going to be helping a lot of people through what it is that you, and so, you know, whether it's right now, you know, the main thing for you or or what's, you know, most recent for you is, you know, your dog, but then going backwards in your life and saying, okay, this is something I need to share about. And I know that uh, what I see is you've, been thinking about that and I'm not sure and you weren't sure how it is that you could help others you know with what it is that you've been through but know that through your writing about what you've been through you you would be helping so many people does that make sense um kind of you know right now I'm struggling I I can't get oh there's Mm -hmm. a lot of things I'd like to be doing I'm Mm -hmm. kind of in that retirement Mm -hmm. age but Physically, I've, I, you know, have some fatigue issues, and I've never been able to find out how to get over that. Um, and so, my challenges are more physical right now. Um, and and but, you, know, you have to and get feeling comes, better. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, I, I just wanted to mention is that when it comes to our physical bodies, if we are going through a lot physically um, through challenges, it has to do with because you've been through so much and it's all that energy, the old energy is held into your body and it and then man, manifests on your physical body. So we have these chakras. Like, I don't know if you listened through the meditation that, that I was doing, um, yes. but the chakras uh-huh. are our energy centers. And if something's not right, if it's not balanced, if it's not, if you have a lot of stuck in old energy there, it manifests in our physical body. So when it comes to writing, when we write about those things that we've been through, you're taking out that old energy and putting it on paper. And so that is how we and we can really help ourselves to really you know, journal out all those things that we've been through, the um, our feelings, our emotions, and that really helps us to be able to release all that old and stuck energy to help our physical bodies as well. Okay? okay. So, I, yeah, okay. I want to encourage you to write. You know, it, it can just be for yourself at this point to do the healing work um, and to be able to let go of some things that um, have been you know, hanging around um, that doesn't belong there anymore um, so that you can heal and to let go and to release and to be able to really move forward. 
So, you know, I want to encourage you to do this. Um, you can, I had mentioned, um, you can reach me in Facebook um, if you are needing help with this journaling, you know, if you are needing help with prompts, okay. um, how can to go about repeat, that. Can you repeat the place on Facebook? I, lo- I didn't catch that. Yes, so it's facebook.com slash spiritual guidance radio. So just like uh, my radio show here, uh, the title. And then you could just message me there and um, I'll respond. And so if you are needing any more guidance, um, I also do do in-depth sessions. So if you're really wanting to go deeply into this and to let go, you know, that is um, a session that, you know, you can um, book with me as well. Okay? Okay. And I see now on the page of psychitalk.net that is under the book now, Facebook.com forward slash spiritual. I see it now. It's on yes. your page. So you could, yep, so you could click on the page. You can message message me right there, and okay. I do respond right away. So, um, so yeah, any t- if you, you, so you think all of our okay. animals stay with us, or do you think they go into some other place like a heaven, or do they cease? You think they, all the animals we've so ever I'm, had, they stay around us? Are all the animals that we've had have souls, so they have that to them as well. So you know, whenever you go, you know, whenever you, if you have talked to a medium, you know, they're able to connect with souls and spirits. Um, so they're going to be able to do that for for animals because they do have those spirits as well. So we can yeah. definitely communicate with them. Um, and they're always with us as well. Um, and know that, and I, I can actually see um, Zinger um, right now, and you know, he's there, and he's been there. Um, so whenever you think of him um, in any situation or what it is, whatever it is that, that you're doing, or all of a sudden, you know, you're, you're busy doing something, and all of a sudden you think about him, it's because he's there or she's there, Okay. okay? I've often felt right. that about our our human, you know, relative spirits too. They say when they pass by that that's when we think of them. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yes, anyway. that, it's so true. Yes, and so you know, and you can all definitely speak to her. You know, you, just like we, um, you know, pray to God, um, or you know, we we communicate with the angels and our guides. Um, you can always, you know, communicate with her as well. Okay? Okay, thank you. You are very welcome. And, you know, do that writing. You know, that writing is going to be very helpful for you. Okay? All right. I appreciate it, and I'll be checking with you later. All right, wonderful. Well, have a great weekend, okay? Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Catherine. Okay. Well, you are very welcome. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Uh-huh. Uh huh. All right. So let's go to our next caller. We have area code. Um, we have. Very well. We have area code three four seven. Hello, caller. What is your name? Where are you calling from? Hi. Thank you for taking my call. My name is Tanika. I'm calling from Long Island, New York. Hi, Tanika. How are you today? Good. Thanks. So what's going on? Um, I wanted to know. Um. So I lost my job in October and September. It was a job I was wanting to leave for a while. And I felt to try to get benefits through the state for um, payments for losing my job. And I I really would like it so that I could just kind of take a break and pause and look um, into what I really want to do. And I got a job offer at a poor dermatology office that wants me to start Monday. And my case with the state is still pending, meaning I haven't received any payments yet. I don't know if I will or if I won't. I have no idea. Um, so I'm wondering if I should take the job at the dermatology office, if you see good things with that, or should I wait and will I be receiving these payments um, that I filed for? Like, will that come through or not? Because okay. I'm wary so of I going have... to office mm-hmm. setting because um, because it's not really what I want to do, but at the same time, I'm not comfortable not knowing where, what my next source of income is going to be from, because I don't know if the state is going to approve the payments or not. And if I start working, um, 
I'm not saying it'll be the best decision because I don't know if this is a good idea or not, but um, if you start working, you won't receive payments. So that's I'm wondering what you think. Okay, so I have Archangel Raphael and Archangel Samuel um, stepping forward. Um, I also do have Archangel Uriel there because um, this has to do a lot with what it is that you truly want. Okay, so right now there's a lot of worry when it comes to money. Um, and that worry, uh, they want you to know that you're always going to be taken care of. So what is it that you really want? And you kind of shared this. So when it comes to this offer that you received, how does that feel to you? So you kind of shared a little bit. Um, but I want you to go into a little bit more detail on what it is that you feel um, when it comes to this job. So why, did, why is it that you applied for this job initially? Because I didn't know if I was going to get um, benefits from losing my job or not. And I just felt like, you know, I needed to pay my bills. I needed some income coming in, of course. Um, right now, I'm mm -hmm. paying my bills, savings a little bit that I have. And after this month, I'm not going to have any left to pay any bills. So um, I didn't know if I was going to get benefits or not. Um, and it's still pending. So I'm mm -hmm. not sure if I will be okay if I just wait because there's a chance that it won't be approved. And then I, you know, I won't be getting any more money from anywhere. And the job offer, it's okay. The certain amount of money is a little more than what I was just making, but um, I don't want to go back into a painful situation in the doctor's office where I'm treated badly. Like I was just treated. I'm not saying this is going to be like that, but I just I just feel kind of uncomfortable just sitting around and waiting and using my savings, not knowing if I'm going to be getting um, payments or not, you know, and then this is a decent job offer. So I, I don't know. If okay. okay. So because of – there's a lot going on here. Um, and I, I, I just want you to, you know, remember that you're always going to be taken care of. You know, when it comes to the universe, when it comes to the divine, we're always going to be taken care of. Now, the, this worry about money, it does have a lot to do with what you've been through in the past when it comes to um, um, childhood, like when it came to what happened with um, your family and things like that. So let's focus on this job that you applied for. When you interviewed with with um, uh, HR or um, um, so, so the, the person who was hiring, how is it that you felt about them? I thought the woman that interviewed me was nice. But other than that, I don't feel anything exciting about it. It's just another job in a medical office. Um, I don't like that you have to wear scrubs. I just don't like, I'm not that kind of person that wants to be look, look like that every day. But other than that, okay. the only thing was the woman that interviewed me pretty peppy. But I don't feel any kind of like huge excitement or, or anything. It's just another doctor's office in this town that I'm trying to move from. But I know I need okay. to wear so like it. Okay. Let's just focus on the job. Okay, so you told you actually your intuition is telling a lot here right now. So not being excited, not, you know, not wanting to do certain things. That's those are red flags. Okay, so you need to really listen to that. If that is something that you don't want, it's important for you to really listen to that and to trust that it will fall into place for you, whatever that is when it comes to whether this money is going to come through from um, benefits, um, you know, to know that, you know, it's, it's really important for you to be doing those things that you really want to do. Okay. So, you know, this, it, it sounds like this offer is not something that you want to accept um, because, you know, it, it doesn't sound exciting for you. Excitement, that is a high vibration. So it's important for us to go after that and listen to that, listen to our feelings, listen to what it is that, um, 
you know, our emotions are telling us, our our feelings are telling us. And so I, I want you to listen to that and um, know that, you know, if it's meant for you to, you know, receive an offer, that that right offer, that, you know, a job that you love is going to come for you, okay? And so these two things that are kind of, you know, in limbo right now, it's all going to fall into place, but you just can't, you just need to trust, and and it's going to take some patience um, on your part as well. Um, so to know that that right thing is coming for you, um, but you know not to just take anything just because you're so worried about money. Okay, so you know if this offer is not feeling right for you, don't take it. You know, and wait for that job that you know you are really wanting to. Now, um, what I do see and what I'm being told is that it's going to be important for you to wait a little bit. Okay, so um, that it's coming, but while you're waiting for this to really work on you, okay, work on. Um, those things that are coming in that has to do with why it is that you're so worried about money, okay? And it does have to do with um, childhood um, things that you've gone through. And so I, I want to encourage you to, while, while in this waiting process, um, to do some journaling on that. You know, where is it that this stems from, all this worry about money, and it'll be able to tell you, you know, where it comes from, but also how it is that you can heal and release it so that, you know, you can really trust in not only yourself, but also that the divine and the universe is going to be there to guide and help you throughout this process. Okay? Yeah, I. but I, I can't just sit around and not, like, have money coming in. My phone will be cut off bills will go bad like I have to be able to pay my bills I can't I have applied to places that I want but I haven't heard back and I know that you know I shouldn't stop looking for what I want but I can't just sit around and not work and that does have to do with that trust you know trust that it's all going to work out when was that last time and you know you don't have to answer um, to me, um, but when was that last time when you felt that you really needed to trust and you were asked to wait, but also to really trust in the divine and in and, and the universe to really bring you those things that you are really needing, okay? So to kind of think of that as you're going through this process and to know it's all going to be okay. It's, it's going to be taken care of for you. You just have to, and I know it's hard, um, but waiting is a really hard thing um, a lot of times. But, you know, when it comes to the divine and the universe, a lot of times they will tell us that we need to be a little bit patient and wait. Um, and everything then will be unfolded because there's a lot of things going on, you know, in the background with, that we can't see that is happening for you um, so that it's there for you to step into when it's that right time. And, yes, I know it's hard, um, but, you know, you can do this, um, and everything is going to be okay, Okay. So are you saying that you see the payments? Am I going to be getting awarded these payments? It, it's not what I'm saying, and this is not what I'm seeing, because what they're showing me is that it, it's really important for you to trust in yourself and trust in finding that that work that you really love to do and to do this healing work. So, you know, to... You, Take this time to do do that journaling, to do some some of that work and healing and letting go, so that you know everything. To know that everything is going to be okay for you, okay. Okay. All right. So, well, I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you. Okay, bye bye. All right. So let's go to our next caller. And uh, before I do. 
um, you know, if you are needing some guidance or if you are needing to share what it is that you've gone through, you know, whether it's something exciting that, that happened to you um, or, you know, something that's been um, hurtful or, you know, hurting you or something that's made you sad, you know, if you're just needing to share as well, you know, this is that platform for you. So be sure to give me a call at 714 816-4628, and don't forget to press 1 on that keypad um, to be live on air with me. All right, so let's go to our next caller. We have area code 919. Hello, caller. What is your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Sandra Kay, uh, but I go by my middle name, Kay, and I'm calling from Georgia. Hi, Kay. How are you today? Um. Just a little down. Um, this the past few months um, on my job has been extremely difficult, and this week and today has just been honestly one of those. And I'm just ready for some peace. And I'm wondering, when do you see some some peace coming toward me in my my career wise? Okay, so I have Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel. Archangel Shamuel, and Archangel Uriel, and Zachiel. So they're all there. You have this huge support, um, you know, so mm-hmm. to know that first. You have so much That's support great. behind you. You also, you also have your angels and guides as well. Your guardian angels, you have three um, that I see. Um, for you, yeah. <laughs> so, so they're there guiding you and supporting you. So they first want you to know that that you have this huge support. Um, so all you have to do is ask for them to help you and ask for them to step forward for you. You know, whenever you are needing that extra love, um, Archangel Shamuel is a great Archangel too. And you know, whenever I feel Archangel Shamuel, it's this huge like. It's like a whoosh of air that comes in, and it feels so good. Mm. Um, so you can always ask for Archangel Samuel to step forward for you. Um, now, okay. you know, Archangel Raphael and Archangel Gabriel are both stepping forward for you because they want you to know, you know, not only that you're always supported, to know that it's going to be okay, but it's important mm. for you to really do those things that you love to do. Okay, um, there. And what they're showing me is, you know, you you have so much going on, and so many other people that you're trying to help that you forget about you. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. And that's why a lot of times we feel drained when we do so much for everyone else. Then there's no, nothing filling us up. So it's important for you to fill your energetic cup up by doing those things that you love, you know, going outdoors, you know, spending some time with people that you love, um, you know, just doing something fun, um, being creative, you know, doing some artwork, um, you know, doing that reading, even a nice hot, you know, bubble bath, you know, it, you know that will yeah. you know, raise our vibrations, you know, make us feel good, um, because we are meant yeah. to feel good. So it's important for you to take care of you first, okay? You know, really fill that energetic cup. You need to really fill that up because if we're burnt out, we can't help anyone. You know, we and and it's not about only about us, but we can't help anyone else that we're helping. You know, if we're burnt out so it's important for you to focus on you it's really important for you to do those things that you love to do um i know you're always compromising right yeah yeah definitely definitely. always being yeah always being there for others so it's really important you know this weekend i want to encourage you to do those things um you know it doesn't have to be long periods of time by doing those things that you re- that really makes you happy, whether it may be listening to music, singing out loud, dancing, you know, whatever that looks mm-hmm. like to you, to really mm-hmm. just enjoy yourself. Um, and um, do you like to read? I do. I do. I, yeah, I really <laughs> okay. do. 
Because, yeah, they're showing me that, you know, read those books that you really love to read and just get out of your head and be in that story. You know, so just Mm. daydreaming and just being out of reality for a little bit. Um, Are you a, are you a water sign? Earth sign. Earth sign. Okay. Um, Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why. Oh, it could be that, um, are you really connected with like water at all? Like, does it make you feel good? That is where I find my peace. Yes, I'm going okay. to that near the water. One, wonderful. So, you know, those things, you know, if you're near water, to go sit by the water and just let your mind wander um, and let your mind just go and dream and um, and forget about what's going on, all the stress and all that stuff that's going on around you, but to just kind of let that go. Um, for a little bit and, you know, just let yourself dream and let yourself to just think about those things that you want to do without having to worry about money, without having to worry about um, that daily grind, but you're doing those things that you really enjoy. So, you know, that's the first mm-hmm. thing. They really want you to do those things that you love to do and just kind of be out of your your head. Um, now, mm-hmm. the second thing that they're showing me is it's going to be important for you to get all of that old energy out. So lots of stress, lots of things, lots of baggage um, that mm-hmm. you're carrying. And to put it on mm-hmm. paper, do some journaling work. It may take a while. <laughs> I'm not, I, I, you know, I, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, it's not going to be a one-time thing, and it's going to be a continual process, and it'll get easier as you keep practicing this. Um, but it's going to be important for you to let go of everything on on that paper, um, anything that comes in that's been stressful, but also the feelings and the emotions that go with it. To put it on paper doesn't have to make any sense at the moment. Um, it can be um, a very spotty where you might be thinking of one moment and then go to the next moment. It doesn't matter. Just write it all on paper. Let it all go. And then what's going to start happening is you're going to learn the lessons behind what it is that you went through. So there's going to be a lot of things. Uh, and when we let go of old energy, we make room for new energy to come in. And so this new energy is going to start coming in. It's going to feel good. It's going to feel fresh. Um, that comes in um, on those lessons, and um, they're going to come in as aha moments. Um, and it may not make sense at, at uh, for a little bit, but you'll be able to connect to all of that. And, and that's part of the healing process that um, is meant for you, and it, it is healing work. Um, so when we look back on all the things that we've been through and how it is that you're supposed to pick the lessons out from that, and that helps you to then change your mindset, um, and that's how we heal. And so and you know, just write, start writing everything that's been on your heart, everything that has been weighing you down, um, all the emotions with it, and you'll start feeling so much lighter and so much more, um, <laughs> this word keeps coming out, fresh. It's, it's going to be this mm. fresh moment for you. Um, so, you know, I know sometimes it may seem like, you know, does journaling really work? But, you know, when we really let go of all those things that we've gone through, especially if we've kept it to ourselves, it really does help you to feel lighter and feel as if uh, you don't have this weight on your shoulders anymore. But, you know, when it comes to letting go of all the stuff, it really does help to have the divine then be able to fill you with that love but and that energy, but also those moments of clarity um, to help you to understand why it is you've been through what it is that you've been through, why you, you are going through uh, certain things that you're going through. 
and they're all lessons for us. This life that we're at, we're on, it's all about the lessons, learning from them, you know, and growing and transforming. And so, you know, really be, and this is the next week's um, energy that's coming in. Really be honest with yourself. What is it that's really keeping you from really living that life that you want to live? And once you do all that, once you do the healing work, once you do that dumping of all that old stuff, that is when energy really sh starts to shift around us. Not only will you be feeling better, but that feeling better is raising your vibration. And as we raise our vibration, everything around us starts shifting, including career and job, when it comes to relationships, um, all of those things change. So some relationships may fall away, but you'll also get new relationships that come in. Um, same with work and job and career. You start to then understand what it is that you really want, especially as you you know do some dream, daydreaming and remembering what it is that you really want to do. That's then going to help you to be able to find those jobs, find that career that you really want. Does that make sense? It, it does. Um, I, I, where I am right now, I'm working. It's just very, it's very debilitating and depressing. So what you said makes perfect sense. It's just that I, I'm so depressed now that it's, it's just even hard to even to begin some of the things that you just said, which I know are true. Like I just had one of those days today that the only thing I, I can ma manage myself to do is just lie on this couch. So the thought of using brain power to do anything else is so so debilitating. But I know that's just it's, it's a vicious circle. So if I stay in the mindset, then I won't do what you're saying I need to do. But if I don't do what I need to do, I stay in the same mm -hmm. place. So mm -hmm. it's just I, I've mm -hmm. got to get myself up and do. Yeah, yeah, and you've been through so much, and so you know that's why it's. You ha you're go uh, I could feel it within my heart chakra of all those things that's mm -hmm. within you, all that stuck energy. So it's really important for you to release all of it. Um, and, you yes. know, you can always um, contact me as well um, if you're needing a little bit extra help or if you just need someone to listen um, to everything that you've been through because mm -hmm. that that is also helpful as well. So, you know, feel free to message me as well um, if you're needing to talk or anything like that. Um, you know, I'd love to help you. But that journaling is going to be so mm -hmm. helpful for you to really just be able to release, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You are very welcome. Well, I hope you have a wonderful mm. weekend, but be sure to do those things that you love to do, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. You are very welcome. Have a great weekend. Thank you. You as well. Bye. Thank you. All right. We have time for one more caller. We have area code 856. Hello, caller. What is your name and where are you calling from? Hi, it's Rosemary from New Jersey. How are you? All right. How about you? Good. Doing a little bit better today. A lot bit better after Wednesday. <laughs> okay. Well, so what has been going on with you? Just a little craziness with uh, trying to coincide with doing something with a friend from overseas and a lot of case of chaos with that, and hopefully that will get straightened out for me. And because I can't do it from here, I did my part, but a lot of chaos. So I was wondering, or a lot of chaos at home too. So, <laughs> so I was wondering if his energy, if he's gonna, he said he's gonna see what he can do. Um, I'm surprised mm -hmm. he answered me twice on the one because I forgot I had something else in the letter for him to do for me. Um, what is his intentions now? Or is he just faking me out this time? Well, I'm not sure about that. I, I, this is not what I'm seeing. But, you know, I have Archangel Shaman stepping forward for you. 
And, you know, what they're sharing, what he's sharing is that it's really going to be important for you to do those things that you really love to do. So outside of, you know, speaking with him, you know, what is it that calls you to really do, to um, really raise that vibration for you, okay? Um, so, you know, I, I want to encourage you to, you know, have some fun. <laughs> you know, this is what uh, sometimes, you know, we need that um, reminder from our archangels and the angels and our guides um, to you know, just have a little bit of fun, uh, to do some play. So what is it that you need to do to really, you know, raise that vibration of yours but also do those things to, that you really love to do. Um, not worrying about anyone else, not worrying about what others think, but to really focus on you. So what is it that you really love to do? Okay? Uh, not much. I don't have much money to do anything what I like to do. Does that make well, sense? No. Well, <laughs> yes. But also, you know... We don't need, you know, money in order to be able to really enjoy those things that we love to do. So even if it's, you know, listening to music, you know, reading, um, you know, nowadays we could read it from anything. You know, we have the Internet, we have all this stuff. Um, so we could read um, in any capacity or just enjoying yourself by just, uh, you know, are you someone who likes to draw? Not really. Or some or here and there. Or did you draw before? Mm, not a good drawer now. Here and there, not well, much. Mm -hmm. Well, it doesn't matter. Well, good is uh, that's that's just you know what is good. <laughs> so <laughs> if it's something that you can do, however you can do it is meant for you. doesn't matter, you know, what other people think good is, but, you know, to draw in the way that feels good to you. That is what good is, okay? So I want to encourage you to, you know, do some of those things. Um, are you someone who dreams a lot, and do you remember your dreams at all? Um, sometimes I do, but I don't dream every day or here and once in a while, not all the time. Okay. And and but you can remember those three. Yeah, certain ones, yes. Okay, wonderful. That's divine's way of, you know, give, sending you some messages. So, I want to encourage you to either draw on a journal on a piece of paper what it is that you dreamed about. Any colors that you remember, you know, to Add those in as well. But also, what it is that you're learning from these dreams? Like, what what is it telling you when it, when you have these dreams? So, to write those down as well. Um, and the dreams that you have, that you remember, they're, they're connected. So, I, I want to encourage you to have a journal, like, right by your bed. Um, and as soon as you get up to... Jot down anything that you remember, okay? Okay. Cool. And they are messages for you, okay? All right, cool. So, like, something like draw or listen to music or something like that or walking or whatever. Got you. Yes. All those things that really raise your vibration, that makes you excited, that makes you happy. Um, you know, all the, um, you know, the certain music that you love, certain things that you like to read. Um, going outdoors, you know, taking those walks, um, even, you know, taking a, a, a um, paper and pencil and drawing what it is that you see outdoors as well, okay, that that really resonate with you, okay? Okay, cool. Appreciate it. You are very welcome. Have a great weekend. Thanks, you too. Thank you. All right. Um, you know, I wish I had more time to take any more callers. I do have a session um, that I need to get to. But, you know, I am actually going to be changing our day. Um, so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm being called to you know, do some work um, 
uh, some new work. And so my day is going to be changing. Um, I will be starting next week, well, maybe not next week, maybe the week after, um, on Monday. So I will be on Monday evenings um, at, um, I'm, I'm thinking, around 6 p.m. Um, and, you know, and so if you are able to, you know, connect with me then, um, I would love to hear from you. Um, so next week, starting on Monday um, at around 6 p.m., um, there will be more details, um, you know, with our producer, Dax, he'll be sending out um, the promotions for that. Um, but be sure to tune in with me on that new day. Um, also, like I had mentioned, if you are needing in-depth um, sessions, if you would like to, if you need help, you know, letting go of living beliefs, if you are needing healing work around that i would love to help you um, i do book sessions uh, for those also like i had mentioned you can go to facebook.com slash spiritual guidance radio and you can reach out to me message me if you're needing some prompts for um, journaling or if it is if there's something on your heart that you really need to share um, you know be sure to reach out to me you can always reach me um, on those, and I will respond back to you. Um, so be sure to connect with me there as well. And also, you know, before I go, um, we do have some great things coming up on Psychic Talk Network. Network. Uh, so like tomorrow um, on Tarot Today Radio with hosts Mary Brown and Dax Carlisle, they have a special guest, Pamela Seal, and they'll be talking the Eternal Seeker Oracle. And it's the, the third edition of Seal Wizard Tarot, so be sure to tune in uh, with them. Also on Sunday, the Magic Universe show is back with Sharona Rapsik, and she's talking magic. So be sure to uh, tune in with her as she has um, Tarot Master Tamara Kerr, um, on the show with her as well. Um, and then we, uh, I'll be back next week and be sure to tune in. Um, and I look forward to hearing from you. So have a wonderful weekend, everyone. And um, be sure to, if you are needing some, um, you know, to release on let go, I did have that meditation at the beginning of the hour, um, as well as my talk on what to expect for this coming week's energy. So be sure to uh, listen to the re replay for that as well. So have a wonderful week weekend, everyone. And I know for where I am in Wisconsin, uh, we actually had our first snow today and we're supposed to expect um, some more snow this weekend. But I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend wherever you are um, in the States or outside of the country. Um, and I look forward to hearing from each of you and uh, talk to you, talking to you again soon. So bye-bye for now.